This track is a monster, especially in the eyes of the Europeans. Close to a mile long, the only bobsled and skeleton track in the United States. Now up, Gregor Stolle, possibly Kristen Auer's biggest threat. Stolle with two seconds and a fourth in three previous World Cup races this season. He's got the best start on the World Cup circuit. 4.85, a new track record. Amazing for Gregor Stolle of Switzerland. The starts just keep getting faster, and look at him drive into that sled. He's exploding with that long stride and quick foot speed. Christian Auer split time of 27.36, and Gregor Stolle betters it by 800. He's carrying great speed down here and through Shady. The greatest speed ever recorded in this sport, better than 85 miles per hour. That's a greater speed than Bob Sleds or Luge have ever recorded as we approach the next split. Ooh, he's seven hundredths behind Christian Hour at this point. So Gregor Scully having those same troubles on the same curves. Yes, off the sled and back on is losing time down these final straightaways. 58.47 is not bettered by Gregor Scully as his 58.56 is good enough only for second place as we wind down this first run of competition. So it's Christian Auer leading the way over Stolle, but by just nine hundredths of a second, while American Orvi Garrett sits in third place and his teammate Terry Holland also in the top five. Gregor Stolle getting a little work on his back and will be back with run number two right after this. Gregor Stolle's season certainly is not over. He was in second after round number one. He posted the fastest start time, and he's at it again. 5.05 on the left is Martin Toller's time, the fastest in the second heat, and a 4.79 for Gregor Stolle. Once again, Stolle has set the standard and broken the track record at the all-important start in search of hunting down Christian Auer. Let's take another look. You can see the long, explosive, powerful stride and he's launching himself directly onto the sled without any airtime. Now approaching the first split, 27.94 is better by six tenths by Gregor Stolle. He started out this heat only nine one hundredths behind Christian Auer and is holding himself well through the straight out of big shape. Down the center of the track, Stolle is a student from Switzerland. He says he's not even sure of his future in this sport, but at this rate, that future may include a gold medal. And perhaps in the Olympics in 94, oh, he's rocked out of the zag. That's the finish time on your left of Austrian Martin Toller. Stolle takes the finish line hard, but crosses. His round time was nearly a second better. His combined time over a second better than the competition. Gregor Stolle moves into first place. He's high in the lip of zag and then off the wall, rocking him on the sled. Oh, man. Ah, now we're going to take a look at him in the finish curve. Feet spread, trying to stabilize and keeping off the wall at the finish. That finish curve has been a menace for nearly every competitor with speeds greater than they've ever seen on this track, and this is a familiar... Gregor, I'd like to shake your hand, but I noticed you've injured it on the finish curve. <laughs> yes, that's true, but it's not a problem. I think it's okay. You set a, a track record in the push and a track record in time coming down this very difficult and dangerous track. Um, were you able to handle this with all the pressure in the second heat? Yes, I was able, but it's very hard, uh, as, you did, as you said. High pressure, high speed, and it's, there are much difficulties in zigzag and in the final curve. It's hard to steer, and so I hit the wall like nearly everybody. It was a remarkable performance, and congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you here once again at Lake Placid. Thank you. If this exciting sport interests you in any way, both men and women can get involved, and you can do so by contacting the Bobsled and Skeleton Federation in Lake Placid, New York.